You need to change these settings now to boost FPS, lower input delay and fix stutters in all of the games that you play. Hey everyone, it's Rek here and today I'm gonna be showing you the most useful settings and tweaks that you can use to boost FPS, fix FPS drops, lower input delay and fix any and all stutters in all of the games that you play. But before jumping into the video, just take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well. And also make sure to hit the subscribe button because a lot of you guys are watching these videos without even subscribing. But now let's just dive straight into today's video. Now the first thing that we're going to be talking about is the apps and the reason I'm talking about these is because a lot of the apps that you don't use are completely unnecessary, take up a lot of system resources and that causes a lot of searches, hitches, lags and all of that bad stuff. So there are basically two things that you need to be doing while handling the apps. One is going into your start menu by right clicking on your taskbar and opening up the task manager, then going into the startup apps and then just right click on the apps and just click on disable in order to disable the ones that you don't want to start up with your PC. So in my case, I don't want to start up this Netmarble launcher. I'm going to go ahead, right click on it, click on disable and voila, that's basically it. The other thing and the more important one is actually uninstalling the apps. Now there are two methods of deploading your windows. One is the manual method, which I'm going to be showing you in this video. And the other one is the automatic method, which does remove more component, but is also more risky. So I'm going to go into that in a later video. But what you need to do is open up your start menu and go into the settings, go into the apps, then go into the apps and features and just scroll through here and uninstall any of the apps that you don't require. So system apps like calculator for example, you can go ahead and uninstall it if you don't want it. Camera, you can go ahead and go into the advanced option. If you cannot uninstall it, just go ahead and reset it from here and even terminate. Then go into the apps and features and inside of here just scroll through all of this, this whole list of apps and uninstall anything that you don't use. So in my case for example, I don't want to use people but as you can see I cannot remove it manually but what I can do is go into the advanced options and remove all of the permissions that it has and also just go ahead and terminate it. Going back and uninstall any of the apps that you can and leave the ones that you can't. Well basically you cannot do anything about them manually so yeah just leave them for now and later when I upload a new video on how to auto debloat and use tools to debloat then you can go ahead and just remove all of those as well. But that is basically what we're going to be doing so you close out of this and now moving on to the main settings and tweaks that I'm going to be showing you in this video and that is the optimal settings pack you can download it from the link in the description just go onto my website and you will find the post with the same thumbnail and the same title as this video that you're watching just go ahead and download the folder from there now the website does contain few ads but they are completely skippable they will open up in a new tab just close that new tab and you should be able to download it without much hassle but once you have downloaded the pack all you need to do is right click on it and extract it using 7-zip or whatever you want and open it up inside of here you will find the o and o shut up 10 as well as my own custom configuration file so what you need to do is right click on it run it as administrator and all of the settings that are the best settings for your pc and for most pcs are applied inside of my profile so you don't even need to do anything so once it opens up before going ahead and importing my own profile i'm gonna go ahead and show you the recommended settings as well so if you click on this recommended button it's going to go ahead and apply apply all of the settings that are recommended however there are a few that it does not apply and we're going to be going ahead and applying those through my configuration file so what you need to do is first of all go into the actions and click on create a system restoration point now this step is strongly recommended not only by the app but by me as well because in case that you don't want to use any of these settings or want to revert any of these you can go ahead and easily do so with the help of the system restore point so i highly recommend you to do this click on yes and what's going to do is automatically create a system restore point just before applying all of the changes and now that we have successfully created the system restore point what you need to do is click on file click on import settings click on the recognitic underscore profile dot cfg hit open and 51 changes were successfully made to your configuration hit ok and now we can go ahead and click on action then click on apply all of the settings and it's going to go ahead and apply all of the settings the reason i'm not applying right now is because i'm recording the video but that is all you 
basically need to do and then it will ask you to restart your pc and even if it doesn't what you need to do is go ahead and close out of the program and then restart the windows once you restart your windows you can go ahead and delete this pack or even keep it for later use because these settings will get reset if you update your windows or if you change any of the settings back yourself so i would recommend you to keep this profile with you so that you can use it later on but that's gonna be it for this video i really hope that this video helps you in any way shape or form so make sure to hit that like button and also make sure to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a brand new video and i guess i'll see you in the next one until then stay awesome